everyone welcome in today's video i'm sharing with you what we ate last week for supper so i am sharing with you our five easy from scratch meals that we had last week that require little meal planning so on monday i made a tuna noodle casserole yes i know that's like a classic go-to but i did not use any canned items except the tuna and I just had some noodles on hand and you can use any type of noodle and this is a very cheap meal and it requires like 30 minutes to do. Use two cans of tuna, some milk, and some cheese and then I had some bread in the freezer that I just used my magic bullet and ground up and put that on top with some cheese and um, I think I put some onion and garlic in there. I always put onion and garlic in recipes, so I did that. Had a nice dish there with a side, um, and I just used some Aldi steamable vegetables, and those are like 89 cents a pack. I don't usually do that. I prefer fresh vegetables, but this is what I had, and this, like I said, is supposed to be easy, so very um, convenient and go-to recipe that I really like and my husband likes it and my little daughter likes it. So uh, Monday was tuna noodle casserole. Tuesday, I did not follow a recipe, but Tuesdays are always our Mexican night and that was a Mexican quinoa beef dish. So I always make sure to have a couple types of meat in the fridge thawing. So I had some ground beef. I um, browned that with some onion and garlic, of course. And then I cooked some quinoa. Now you could substitute rice if you want. Um, that would be just fine. So I use quinoa, like I said. Put that in there with it. I usually use canned like tomatoes and chilies, but I didn't have any. I had some fresh tomatoes though, so I put that in there. I put some salsa, and I put some cayenne and chili powder, and it got spicy. Um, it was almost a little bit too spicy for me, but my husband loved it. So I kind of made that up a little bit, and it was so good, so delicious though, with the side salad um, for that night, and I used my cast iron, of course, to cook it all in. One pot meals are wonderful. All right, for Wednesday, I do breakfast on Wednesday nights, breakfast meals, and that's something I want to point out. It's much easier when you kind of have a themed night so your family knows what's coming up. So like Tuesday, like I said, was Mexican. Wednesday is a breakfast, so I did sourdough pancakes with scrambled eggs and some fruit on the side and some homemade syrup, so it was just really good. Sourdough pancakes are my go-to. It's a great way to use sourdough starter if you have some of that on hand. Sometimes I alternate between these Greek yogurt pancakes and sourdough pancakes, uh, but sourdough is something that my daughter loves. And then I use some of my homemade rhubarb jam that is mm, so good. So I had that, and like I said, scrambled eggs with some veggies in there, and that was a quick, simple, evening meal to have and very affordable because eggs are pretty cheap and sourdough is on hand if you've got that. All right, Thursday was a more American meal, a meat and a carb and a veggie. So I made a marinated pork chop with some potato wedges and roasted asparagus. Now the pork I marinated in a marinade that I made up really, so it was like balsamic vinegar, um, liquid aminos, um, you can use soy sauce, that's what that is, just a better version of it, I think, and some olive oil, some garlic powder, um, and that was basically it. Oh, some spicy mustard, and I blend it all together, marinate it for about eight hours, and then I seared that on the stove. If you like to grill, you can grill those pork chops. And then the potato wedges, we had regular potatoes on hand. I just wedged those, put a seasoning with garlic and salt and then some Parmesan on there and roasted those for like at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. And then asparagus I roasted as well with some olive oil, some garlic and some salt and put that in the oven as well for about 30 minutes. So it came together. I used lots of pans though, but it was really delicious and 
and asparagus was given to us by a friend so that was really nice uh, to have that asparagus and then Friday nights always are pizza night I usually make sourdough pizza but this time we ran out of time and we had some Aldi pizza on hand all the pizzas are so good though we get the supreme and they are six dollars for a pizza so we had all the pizza with a um, green salad I use some of my turnip greens with uh, then just some other cabbage and stuff in a salad and put some other veggies like cucumbers and peppers on top with this poppy seed dressing so good so quick so simple and you can't go wrong with um, using your greens from your garden if you have a garden so that is what we ate this week and like I said I kind of like to theme my days so Monday is kind of an American Tuesday is Mexican Wednesday is a breakfast Thursday is like what we have so this week it was American some days I do like a chicken stir fry so it varies or an Asian soup or something like that and then Friday is always pizza so it just makes it much easier for me to know what I need to make and that way if I don't have um, my meal plan all written out for the week I can just be like all right it's breakfast night so I'm gonna make some french toast or I'm gonna make some um, omelets something like that so just kind of make it easier on yourself but these are all from scratch meals and maybe they give you some inspiration and you can um, try theming your days, whatever works for you. But I'll put the tuna casserole recipe in the description box. It's the only one I actually follow the recipe on. And uh, I just love cooking from scratch and trying new things. So don't be afraid to try. And hopefully you have a gracious family who is willing to try some of those things too. And I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you subscribe. I do videos such as these, simple and thrifted living, motherhood, and homemaking videos. So give this video a thumbs up too. And I look forward to seeing you on Friday. All right, love you guys.